everyone, welcome back! And so today is going to be a kind of bittersweet experience where we close out the Crystalline Mean Quest once and for all. So we have Catless here with the quest called For Every Child a Star. Catless has a special request for the Crystalline Mean's most esteemed benefactor. Claire was thinking that today would be a wonderful day, and who should appear before me but the Warrior of Darkness herself? You've been keeping busy killing eaters and wardens. We've heard all about it and have been singing your praises the whole while. Though you've not been content to make a difference that way alone, have you? You've been indispensable to all five faucets from what the artisans have been telling me. Speaking for the crystalline mean, believe me when I say that we cannot thank you enough, my friend. Aw, oh, she's cute. If compliments put you off, then why don't I trouble you with requests instead? An odd bit... an odd but inevitable one, given that it's been a century since we've had the privilege of a proper night sky. It's great and grand to be sure, but some of the children aren't taken to the change well. The dark is a strange and unfamiliar thing, and they see their worst fears hiding in the deeper shadows. So have a mind to show them that they needn't fear the night. Interested in lending us a hand, Claire? Eh, why not? That's wonderful, because I hadn't an inkling how to proceed. I myself was born after the Flood, so I've honestly no idea how people used to deal with this sort of thing. Why don't you start by speaking with some of the children I mentioned? Ask them what it is about the night that bothers them, and we'll take it from there. Since the children are the ones struggling to adapt to the new normal, it only makes sense that you go and ask them what exactly bothers them about the night. Alright, so where are the children? Okay, so it looks like they're just outside the penance. So from what I know, this is supposed to be just wrapping up the Crystalline Mean quest. And just a final farewell, I suppose, to the Mean. I admit, I did enjoy it, but I'm not at all sorry to say goodbye. Uh, there they are. What is it, miss? I don't know. The night sky is pretty to look at, I suppose. I have my own room, you see. And when I have to go to sleep in it by myself, it's a little scary. And when you hear something out in the dark, you can't always tell who or what it is, you know? Like if it's my little brother or a ghost. Hmm. Huh? What do you want? Am I afraid of the night? Me? It's just the sky getting dark. What's so scary about that? All the adults are happy about it, too, so if they're not worried, why should I be? I mean, uh, uh it's not easy walking in the dark when you need to take a piss, but that's only because I'm afraid of bumping into something. It's not like I'm terrified of some evil monster grabbing me when I'm not looking. Nope. Hey, miss. There's something you wanted to say? Do I think the night is scary? Of course it's scary! Even if you closed the curtains when you were in indoors, it never got as dark as it does now. It's so hard to go to sleep now, not knowing what might be out there. So it's all the same, because... That's why the dark is scary for little kids, because you can't see what's in the dark. Like, you can't see what might be hiding in there, so... And as a former little kid who got scared of the dark, I understand. Nothing to be ashamed of there. Back already? So what did our little ones have to say? Hmm, that all makes sense, I'll admit. Even the heaviest curtains never quite shut out the light, so we hadn't been sleeping in true darkness for a good long while now. At their age, it's all too easy for your imagination to run wild and put strange ideas in your head. Every little noise could be attributed to a slavering beast, or worse. Right then, I think we know enough to put our people to work. It's time for the dedicated artisans of the Crystalline Mean to come together and create new products to put our children's minds at ease. 
<laughs> we want to spoil the little ones, but okay, that sounds like a good idea. How do you do that? Up to now, we've devoted the bulk of our resources and manpower to shoring up our defenses against sin eaters. But now that the danger posed by that menace is much reduced, I think we can afford to diversify our efforts. After all, be the children who build upon our legacy in this new world of ours. Besides, I imagine the solutions we'll develop will serve just as well to aid adults in living and working through the night. First order of business will be to inform the leaders of the respective faucets. Lola, Tayuna, Bethric, Keshi Ray, and Fithwick. Brief them on the task at hand and offer them whatever assistance they require. So we're going to see everyone again! Well met, Claire. How wonderful it is to see you again. Come to while away the quiet hours discussing Amaro husbandry. The children are afraid of the night. Interesting. Very interesting. I wonder if some of the younger Amaro are of a similar mind. I shall have to consult with Skip, just in case. Wait, what were we talking about again? Ah yes, the key factors which determine whether or not certain recessive traits manifest in a given Amaro. Okay. <laughs> Was a joke, a joke. When you give me that look, it's a joke. Rest assured that this project to ally the children's views shall have my undivided attention. I should think myself more than capable of determining and crafting the perfect solution to their problem. I was a child once, after all. And indeed, I am arguably still a child at heart. Okay. Hello, hello, Claire. Got business with the faucet of fishing, nor with me personally. Something to put the little one's minds at ease in the dark, eh? It so happens I might have come across something ideal for this very purpose. I'll need to cobble together this and that first, though it'd still be largely natural solution, but one I'm confident the children will enjoy. Yes, yes, I think this might just work. I'll need not long. Yes, yes, I think this just might work. I'll not need long, though I will need to... Oh, I should say no more. Better to surprise everyone, I think. I promise you won't be disappointed. Hey there, Claire. To what do I owe the pleasure? Don't tell me you're getting sweet on me. Well, well, well. So Catless wants us all to pitch in and find a way to comfort the little ones jumping at shadows. Good for her. I'm not as though I don't understand. Even big, strong adults like you and me might have its imaginations that run wild, especially in the dark of night. No need to consult with the others, though. I'll take the lead in this. I have a mind to show you and her what we can do, so just you sit back and wait. You'll see, Claire. The only thing more beautiful and impressive than yours truly is a masterpiece we'll forge for the children. Where, how does this day find you? If it's a social call, or do you have a commission to make? I see. Indeed, the creativity of a child's imagination is unrivaled, and the darkness makes for quite the canvas. I'm sure they've thought up all manner of terrifying creatures. That reminds me. I've got to tell Naughty again to stop roaming about at night. If the children keep bumping into it, they're going to be too terrified to relieve themselves at night. Or so terrified they do it before they make it to the facilities. Bit back to this project of ours. Honestly, I think we can handle this all by ourselves. I know Catless asked you to help us out, but after everything you've done for us, I think it's past time we proved how far we've come. I mean it, really. Head to the stairs, have a cup of tea, or a pint of ale even. Relax and leave the labor to someone else for a change. She's probably my favorite out of all of them. I really like her. Good old Captain Returns! Come to rescue me from a life of monstrous toil and drudgery? Thank the gods for that. Precious few people are so skilled in the art of conversation as you, my friend. <laughs> the children are afraid of the dark? But the dark affords such ample opportunities for the creatures of the night to hunt and... Ah, now that I think on it, that could be, well, the problem, couldn't it? On the other hand, if we can help the children overcome their fears, they will surely delight in these new opportunities to study countless nocturnal creatures. Question is, how best to go about it? Ha! Well, never you mind the man, Tate. I'll come up with my own unique approach soon enough. No need for you to trouble yourself further. Did you manage to speak with everyone? 
Hmm, I didn't intend for them to develop individual solutions. It's sounding more like a competition than a collaborative effort. On the other hand, if they're so motivated to demonstrate their abilities, who are we to deny them? This is your fault, really. If only you hadn't gone and inspired them. Ha. Huh. Anyway, let's call the children to gather at the Ronita for the unveiling. You'll wait with them too, won't you? I think the artisans are doing this as much for you as they are for them. Really? That's nice. Did not think about it that way. So, it's just outside the ether ray. Great. I'm interested to see what they'll come up with. Like, I I'm guessing they're gonna come up with some kind of modified lanterns or something. I don't see any children around here. Oh, that's so pretty. I don't know though, it just doesn't feel like there are as many stars in the first as there are in the source. Just something I noticed. Ooh, what's this? It's so pretty. Of course it is. For the finest smiths in all of Lakeland, all of Norfront's, I'd wager, a little project like this is less troublesome than breaking in a new pair of boots. I like the light of this one. It's nice and warm. I see you are young men of refined taste. The light is a product of an alchemical reaction that can be sustained with minimal effort, generating a softer light that will not inconvenience the Amaro in our care. I think this one's the best. Cute, isn't it? And if it stops working, you need only bring it to me, and I'll get it back in working order straight away. A glowing flower! I've never seen one of those! I bet you've never seen something so amazing before, have you? But this is only the beginning. If you like, I can teach you all about the kinds of rare and wondrous plants. Talk about things you've never seen before. How does it glow like that? Believe it or not, it's seaweed, a unique variety that glows in the dark. I first discovered it when fishing off the coast of Galusha. Curious methods notwithstanding, what matters is that the children all seem delighted, don't you think? My father looked so happy when he saw the night sky, so even though deep down I was scared, I didn't want to say anything. It's not so bad though, so long as we've got these little lights up there and ours down here, it's like a whole new world when the sun's not out. A new world. New things to see and places to explore. And we wouldn't have had it if the night never came in the first place, would we? Ooh! Is that what I think it is? Oh, look at that! Oh, that is gorgeous! Wow, what are those? So many explosions! They're like flowers blooming! A little surprise I cooked up for the children with the ex-arch's help. Fireworks. And a taste of home for you, I'm told. The meme was all I had after I lost my own child, along with my husband. All the love I would have given them I poured into my work for the Crystarium instead, hoping to fill the hole in my heart, or at least help me to pretend it wasn't there. Whether it was right or wise to try, I don't know, but seeing these little ones' faces light up in the dark, I feel I can finally say I don't regret it.
Those two would have enjoyed this, I reckon. But they'd want us to enjoy it for ourselves, too. As would all our other loved ones who couldn't be with us here today. Remember, Claire, the best way to honor the dead is to live. That's really sweet. Oh, I'm so happy and sad at the same time. And it's over! The golden mean! Ooh, let's see. I want to see this here. The multifaceted. <laughs> nice name! Okay, so I think that's just about it then. You know what? Let's go up and see everyone one last time. And I think that's going to be a good place to really call it quits there. Okay, so let's just go in a circle one more time, and I think that'll be it. I'll keep living the way my loved ones would have wanted me to, and do my best to bring a little light into the lives of others. I cannot deny my consternation when first seeing the night sky, but I must confess it's still quite beautiful, though perhaps not quite as beautiful as the stars in Skip's eyes. Oh, just get married then! Things we have never been better here at the Fosses of Fishing. We've learned how to provide both quantity and quality, not to mention variety. Of course, none of this would have been possible without you. I'll do my best to follow your fine example. You are truly a fisher's fisher. We won't fall behind the likes of Catless. No, ma'am. The Iron Bellows are here to stay. To see the children's faces light up was just precious. And it's thanks to the skills I learned from you, Claire. Blip! Should there still be children who are afraid of the dark, I can channel my energy to light up their faces directly. No, 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 Naughty! That's not how it works. I love Naughty. <laughs> I really do. Claire, how kind of you to visit! The faucet continues to do its good work. You'll be pleased to hear. With Night Restored, we're hoping... With Night Restored, we're hopeful that the realm's flora and fauna will thrive as they hadn't in a hundred years. Alright, is that everyone? I think so. Alright everyone, I want to thank you all so much for joining me on this journey so far, and I hope that you all enjoyed it. So until next time everyone, you all take care, and I'll be seeing you around soon.